Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, QR codes everywhere. Hi, my name is Guy Trainian and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge and today I'd like to talk about QR codes. QR codes have been with us for quite a while but they are a great way to communicate different kinds of information, to connect students or adults to different kinds of information through a code that can be scanned visually and then can help the person who's scanning it to get some new information whether it's information about a person or a place or a link to an app or a website. So um, there are lots of QR readers and QR readers is a must I think for students. It allows you to create all kinds of interesting assignments and students just have to scan the code and they can scan the code from paper and I'll show that in a second but you can also scan them from the pictures on the device itself so you can email or send a picture or even have it embedded on the device and they can use that to go to where they need to go. So let's start with one of my favorites. This one is called Crafter with a Q and in Crafter what you can do is you can scan in two ways. You can scan from the camera or you can scan from photos. This is very common to most QR readers so if we do scan with camera the camera starts looking and I just happen to have with me some QR codes and this is what they look like and you can see that the second that it reads the code it has a picture of the code which you can save so if you read the code from paper and you want to save it you can save it to your pictures you can also change it in some ways you can share it or send by email but you can also see what it is it's edu creations and you can actually uh, go from there uh, further. So this is how you scan a code. The second way to scan a code is to get a scan from photo albums. I just happen to have one here and if you scan this one you just say use and now you get what this is and this is a link to our website and one of the things I like about this is there's an evaluation of safety and here it says no problems detected so safety is very important especially if you're working or transferring to a, to a computer where the risk of viruses is much higher but you generally don't want to scan things willy-nilly you want to really think about what you're doing and when you're sharing with students you will notice also that there's a history here so Crafter remembers everything else you've scanned now Crafter does know how to make QR codes but you have to pay extra right now it's $2.99 and then Crafter will make QR codes for you and the way you do that is just flip to the create side and you can see that you can create QR codes for different things for events if you have an event that you want to invite people to but if you want to use the uh, website you can just write or paste the website address and here I have the HTTP twice so we'll take it out and then you create and now I have a QR code that if scanned will take people to that website and again we can share it in different ways and you can see the options also if you want to check it you can open it in in this case in Chrome so it knows what what you have available to you and now you can see that it took me to the website that I intended it to take so this is Crafter and Crafter helps you read and that version is free if you want to create that version costs money now it's a very stable app I highly recommend it but if you want to create QR codes for free I will talk about a few apps that will do that for free so you want to keep that in mind the next one I want to talk about, just if you need an option, this one is called QR Reader. It works very similarly. It is free and you can see that if you have a QR code that it identifies so what you can see is that it read through and had the connection done and now you can take that information and send it further. So this is just another way to connect and what I love about this is it has a very clear history of the apps that we have scanned in the past and it allows you to search and see 
what's available there. So this one is QR Reader. QR Code Creator is a free way to create your own QR codes without paying for an app. And in this one, you will notice there's no reading, there's just making. And you can say, I want to add one. So you add a new name, in this case, Tech Edge. And now you put in the web address, if that's what you want to embed. In our case, again, our website. And then you say this is a URL address. You can decide what the size of it will be. Although on the screen here, it'll look exactly the same size. It'll save as a picture in different sizes. And then you can say save and it saves automatically to your photo library. And you can also use iTunes to transfer it to computers, etc. But the easiest way will be to take the picture and just email it or share it on social media, etc. So there's lots of ways to do that. And you can see that you can uh, encode different things. You can have a URL address, which is the most common, but you can have other things. Not as detailed as Crafter, where you can also have an event or a location. But definitely, if you're looking for a cheap one, or actually a free one, and you're really aiming mostly at text and having URL addresses, this would be a great option to have. So today on iPads in the Classroom, we talked a little bit about QR codes and what they can do, and some apps that can help you make them and definitely read them. And we'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.